Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today uh, we're going to model a, a, a flaw that uh, follows a topography. Okay, so let's uh, start. So first, let's uh, model a, a topography. So go, um, actually, let's switch to side plan. Okay, so because in a floor plan, in this floor plan, if you type VV, and you will see this if we go to t topography by default it's um, hidden of course you can show you can uh, check that topography but you can also go to the side plane okay so now let's place a top surface okay so um, i'll just quickly model it uh, so place some point so zero point maybe um two meter and play some uh, maybe four meter and uh, eight meter. Okay, so now this is a, a topography. So let's go have a look in 3D view, right? And maybe uh, I'll just give it a, a material. So maybe I'll just create a new material. Let's call it. Um, Site maybe appearance uh, some green color uh, here maybe and okay let's go to graphic so this is showing in realistic and if you check this one it will match this color so this this color will be uh, show, shown in um, shade or a consistent color okay so let me yep so that's the shade so now let's go to side plan so usually um if you don't want to create a, a floor so you can instead of use floor you can use sub region so usually it's just uh, basically just uh, like a field region so you just create a closed so for example this uh, a closed uh, a sketch and then finish it so now if you go to 3D view, you will see this is so um, on the same uh, topography, but you can uh, apply different materials. So for example, I, uh, we can give it a different uh, material. So, so that's, uh, for example, that's a road or a path. Okay, so yep. Now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a floor to match this shape. So we can go to a side plan again, select this sub region, and go edit boundary. So now we have this boundary line. So we can copy Control C and finish it. And now go to uh, architecture floor, and you can Control V, or you can align to current view. Okay, so click this and finish. So now if you go to 3D view, you will see there, there's a floor exactly the same uh, shape uh, to this uh, sub, sub region. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to, uh, we will use Dynamo to adjust this floor. Okay, so let's do it. So go to manage Dynamo. And before we do, uh, we need to download a package. Okay, so go to package, search for package, and we just need to wait for a few seconds. Okay, so just type in, uh, I think it's clock, clockwork, yep, here. So depending on uh, which version uh, Dynamo you have, I think I have uh, Dynamo 2 point something. So I'll download this one. Um, okay. Um, okay. So just wait. Okay, all good, installed. So I'll close this and then create a new. And so see, it's here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into this menu and go to Revit, go to Element, 
go to and then go to floor and we are going to use um, which one this one slap shape by points so click this one so now we have this one so maybe change this to menu okay so it looks like we need both points and floor so for the floor so let's just uh, oh hang on let me just uh, drag this to this end so select this one yeah so we need to uh, pick the floor so what i'm going to do is go back there on the rabbit go to selection and use the select model element okay so this one and then you can click select so rotate a little bit and pick the floor pick yeah that's it so you can load this link this to here so we have this floor and then points so we need to i'll uh, use this same so control c control v and change to this sub region okay so okay so now the next step is we need to f uh, find the points for this uh, sub region so um let me think which one should we use um let's try elements and see if there's a topography or sub region maybe it's on in, on the topography yeah so we can get so see this uh, question mark question mark means uh, to get the information okay so here use this one so which means we can get the points of this uh, sub region or topography and then let's have have a test so if i click it run see these points are uh, um, the points we get from this sub region so now we are going to use these points to control the shape of this slab so link this to this run and depending on yeah oh that's quick so and that that's it so if i h h the topography so you will see this is the floor so which um, match the topography okay so that's it yeah actually i just learned this today i i i just uh, did some uh, research on on google and find some video and then that's this is the easiest way to do it so you need to manually create the the floor to match the sub region but the rest is very very simple so um, if you have any question please let me know um, i'll see you next time bye